Hello folks, Scott with Dallas Paint Correction and Auto Detailing here in Dallas, Texas. I had a viewer, one of my subscribers asked me, hey you mentioned your carrying case, what do you, what do you use, what do you, what do you buy, what did you purchase to be able to organize all your chemicals when you're detailing a car. Again, I'm mobile so I have to bring this stuff with me when I'm working at a customer's home. Now, you'll notice I have these big spray bottles in it. If you watch my video about different spray bottles that I'm interested in and I'm using, but I wanted to just show people or show that viewer that asked me that question that the big spray bottles will actually work in this case too. So I just put them in there to show them how I've been doing it for a long time. This, this bag here, this is a AWP. I bought it at Lowe's. It's like 16 bucks. It's a a great little carrying case for me. It works in my world. It might work in your guys' worlds as well. And basically what it is, it's just a, I don't know how long this thing is, 16 inches long. It's just wide enough to put the spray bottles on both sides of the handle. I can grab it and walk to my client's vehicle and work on it. And I have two of them. Actually, I have several of them, but two of them I use the most. This bag here is actually my exterior bag. This is basically going to be everything I'm using on the exterior of the vehicle. I have a paint sealant. This is Jescar Manzerna paint sealant. I have a uh, Color Lock uh, Jescar Carnuba based wax here. I have a little tube of Flitz metal polish if I want to cro if I want to polish any chrome exhaust tips or something like that. I have some little scrub pads in here. This is I use this in my exhaust tip cleaning um, video. This is made by 3M. This is not all that abrasive. Great for polishing chrome exhaust tips. I, I, I think 3M uses calls it Scuttlebug or something like that. I don't know what it is, but I bought it at Lowe's. Works really well. Won't scratch any of the surfaces that you're working on. Um, but basically, when I'm doing an exterior, I want to have this is my McGuire Super Degreaser. A lot of people ask me, what do I dilute this at when I'm doing an exterior of a car, if I'm degreasing wheels or a wheel well? Well, Meguiar's recommends four to one. Maybe I'm cheap, call me what I am, but I typically dilute this stuff at seven to one. Seven to one seems to be the sweet spot for me. It will cut through grease and grime just fine. I see no difference between four to one to seven to one. So I kind of save myself a little extra money and I dilute it seven to one for anything I'm doing on the exterior works for me. So that's my super degreaser there. I also have a little bug sponge. This bug sponge is pretty cool. This is a microfiber uh, bug sponge. Boy, I'm having a hard time talking this morning. Sorry, guys. What I like about this is you'll notice a lot of the bug sponges that are on the market have like a nylon outside. I don't like those nylon ones. They can scratch the paint. This microfiber one works for me. It's completely, it's got a foam insert and the outside of it is microfiber. It's just enough grab or grit if you'll, if that works, if you will, to be able to knock off bugs off paint and stuff like that without scratching it. So I keep that in my bag as well. Then the next chemical I have here is my McGuire Synthetic Express Spray Wax that fits right in the carrier just fine. Obviously you don't dilute that, that's ready to use. Here's a detail spray. I have a couple detail sprays, but McGuire's, their last touch detail spray is good. It's price right. It works for me. You can dilute this one to one if you want to use it as a clay lube, or you can use it straight if you want to use it as a detail spray. So typically I leave it diluted one to one for both. I, I don't use detail sprays to wipe off dust and dirt. I don't do anything like that. I just basically use it as a clay lube and so I'll use it one to one. That kind of makes sense in my world. I have a little glass cleaner in here. This happens to be stoner and visible glass. You've seen my crazy video about glass cleaning. I'm not a big fan of any particular glass cleaner. This works fine for me. Fits in my carry case just fine. This bottle back here is my paint prep. I think I called it DuPont. It's not DuPont, it's Dupli color or something like that. I think at O'Reilly's I buy it. It's like $8. I think you can even buy Rust alone, uh, rust alo what is that word? Boy, I can't, man, I'm having a hard time speaking. Rust oleum has a chemical, a paint prep that's like $6.99 for 32 ounces at Walmart. These things are just like your Gion paint prep, car pro eraser, a little bit better than an isopropyl alcohol. 
mixture because isopropyl alcohol tends to be a little grabby on the surface so I just buy paint prep at O'Reilly's I, I pay like eight dollars for 32 ounces goes a long way for me better than an isopropyl rub down so that's fine that goes in my case I have Meguiar's hyperdressing I use Meguiar's hyperdressing in so many different areas on the vehicle on tires on plastic trim even interior trim and I'm gonna make a video I've been using this for about eight months in my own vehicle on my leather car pro if you're if you know their pearl product which is a water-based product a lot like hyper dressing you can use it on tires you can use it on plastic trim they even recommend being able to use it on leather so the little light bulb went off in my head and I said you know what I'm gonna try this water-based dressing on my leather and see how it works out I'm getting great results over the last six eight months so I'm gonna do a video about how I use it why I use it on leather and why I think it it works really well for that this stuff I dilute I when I'm doing engine bay detailings when I'm doing uh, if I'm working on interior plastic trim or even on my own leather inside my car I think I dilute this stuff three to one I don't go four to one I go three to one and if I'm using it on tires I use it straight I don't dilute it at all I'll use it completely straight out of my container here my my gallon container I have a separate bottle just for tires and I use it straight I don't dilute it when I'm putting it on tires it gives me some nice gloss and shine without it being overly wet or greasy I use it straight it works well for that now the next bottle I have here happens to be if you saw my wheel cleaning video about some guys carrying a five bucket five gallon bucket of water to dip their brushes in and stuff like that this is just basically 32 ounces of distilled water and maybe a couple of ounces of my favorite car soap so I've got a little bit of lubrication when I'm working on tires and I want to spray the wheel down before I agitate it with a brush that's that's this bottle here the next bottle is my wheel brightener you guys all know I'm a huge fan of Meguiar's wheel brightener now I think you know Meguiar's will tell you to dilute this at four to one I dilute it five to one I've even diluted it six to one I don't see a difference between four to one to six to one I save myself a little bit of money I stretch my product out so typically I'm five to one six to one with an acid-based wheel cleaner works fine for the wheels I'm coming in contact with almost on a daily basis um, so that's my Meguiar's wheel brightener now when it comes to tire dressings I've got some applicators some microfiber applicators I use these to apply my tire dressing there's a couple of different tire dressings I use this is chemical guys VRP it's 16 ounces it's a easy container for me it just fits right in the side of this little pocket on this case and I'm ready to go I do buy this by the gallon but I like going to my customers homes or when I'm on the job so I don't have to carry around a gallon with me this goes pretty far so what I'll do is I save this bottle the 16 ounce bottle when it gets low I'll fill it up from my gallon container but it's just easier for me to transport fits great in my bag and I'm ready to go some of you might be asking why do you have chemical guys VRP why do you have hyper dressing don't you use them on tires well here's the deal when it comes to tires and you're dressing tires not every tire responds the same maybe it's the year of the tire maybe it's just gotten a little old and beat up I can use chemical guys VRP on 10 different tires and it all works great then I come across the tire it doesn't work well on so I want to have a couple different options that's why I have my hyper dressing chemical guys VRP they're both water based they work well but again that point about tires not all tire dressings will respond the same on every tire you come in contact with so I keep another one with me as well keep this in my truck this is detail is professional choice by Meguiar's their tire and trim gel sometimes I gotta play with it I'll come across the tire that just doesn't seem to wanna I, I don't wanna use the word accepts the tire the uh, tire dressing but it just doesn't wanna bond it just doesn't look right to me so I have a couple of different tire dressings I keep in stock so basically that's my exterior bag and then back here I have my clay bar this happens to be clay magic I have a it's in the little Ziploc bag so no contaminants get on it but typically I go through so much of this stuff I'll keep them in my truck in a little plastic container but I 
for this particular demonstration or video, I just got it in a plastic bag and I slide it inside the bag. Everything works for me. Again, this is $16. This is my exterior bag. Easy to grab, easy handle on it, and I just fly with it. I know some guys use like a, I don't know what they call it, is Husky make a bucket, uh, a bucket, a bucket jockey or something like that. You can use a three gallon or five gallon bucket and then you put your bucket jockey in it. You can put all your supplies in it. I'm not a big fan of buckets. I used to use them all the time, but buckets are tall. Sometimes you got to put the bucket in another container in the back of your truck if you're mobile because if you go around a corner, the bucket wants to fall over. I like the fact that this is a flat bottom. I've had this thing for about five or six months. Throw it on the driveway, throw it in the back of my truck. It holds up really well. So that's my exterior bag. I'll get this one out of the way, and then I'll show you the other bag I use, which is my interior bag. Now for the interior bag, I got a bunch of different tools here, little brushes to be able to agitate some areas to clean around, maybe the shift lever or whatever. I have women's makeup brushes. This is a cool little brush that I have. I use this around navigation screens to be able to dust that area off or inside vents. So here's a little tip for you. Women's makeup brushes. Sometimes I look like a I look like a fool walking through women's makeup aisles, but I'm I'm I, I love these makeup brushes. They're great. If they're gentle enough on a woman's face, they're fine on some sensitive areas around the car. So I keep them with me. Have a little toothbrush to be able to get in tight little areas to be able to agitate my cleaner again, maybe around the shift lever or something like that. Or, you know, you, you got a steering wheel that's telescoping and drops down. I want to get in that area. I'll use a, a toothbrush to do that with. I have my scissors in here. You've seen my video on floor mat cleaning. I'll trim off some of the frayed areas around the around the uh, floor mat so I keep that with me. I have some scotch Bright pads. These are the non-abrasive, the non-scratch pads which is kind of little misleading. Anything is abrasive. My finger, if I rub it hard enough on something, I can create heat and friction. I can abrade anything. You just got to use some common sense when you're using a, a scotch Bright non-scratch pad. I use this. I've used this on leather. I've used it on steering wheels. I've used it on dashboards. You just got to use some common sense. Don't apply a lot of pressure because just about anything will scratch anything. And then I've got my magic eraser. You guys all know I'm a huge fan of magic eraser. I got a couple in the bag. Use these all around the car with an all-purpose cleaner on them. So I've got that in a little pouch there. I've got my clip to be able to keep doors from stopping closing on me and I clip this on the hinge. So I have that on my bag as well. Now as far as interior products are concerned, I have my Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner. I dilute this 10 to 1. I don't overthink it. 10 to 1 is fine for me. I get, what, 11 gallons out of one gallon of product. So that works fine for me. It works great for my budget. Gr works great for my business. So I've got that in there. And then I have another glass cleaner here. This is Meguiar's Glass Cleaner Concentrate. It's fine. Again, I'm not in love with all glass cleaners. I'm actually going to make a video about this stuff here because I'm seeing issues with it, but I'll save that for another time. But that bottle there is my glass cleaner. Here's my Quick Interior Detailer by Meguiar's. I like this stuff. I really do. It's great for... I'm going to make a video about this stuff too, about being able to break down residues inside the vehicle when you're cleaning. After you use an all-purpose cleaner, you'll find some residue on some of your plastic pieces, maybe your chrome-plated um, door handles. Quick interior detail is great. It's got some UV protection in it. It will knock down any type of residue from a cleaner. But one of the reasons I don't like this stuff, it stinks. It smells like dirty socks or vinegar to me, but that's probably my only, my only little pet peeve about it. It's a great product. I just don't like the way it smells, but I, I keep it with me. I also keep, it actually happens to be empty. I got to fill it but not in this bottle, some other bottle. This is my Meguiar Super Degreaser, and you're going, boy, you've got a Super Degreaser in your exterior bag. Why is it in your interior bag? Well, for the exterior, I'm diluting it seven to one. I come across some nasty stains sometimes in carpets or on plastic panels or even on leather. This stuff works great on leather, especially when it's really hammered. I dilute my Super Degreaser that I'm using inside the vehicle 10 to 1. So I want another bottle of Super Degreaser. I keep it in there. 
Now, of course, I've got my Scotch Guard, my fabric protector. I got a couple cans in this case here as well. I've been testing this product, which is, I'm not a big fan of chemical guys, but Nonsense and Visible Super Cleaner, I've been testing it. I've been using it straight. It's okay. I'm not going to be in love with it. I don't think I'll ever be in love with it, but there's times I'll use it, and I'll go into that in another video. But um, again, I'm not a big fan of chemical guys. I would love to. I like their labeling. I like their branding, but their products just fall short for me on a professional level anyway. But I've just been testing it, so I've got it in the bag. Here's a product that I absolutely love. I'm always talking about using water-based products inside the vehicle, outside the vehicle. But Trim Shine by Stoner, I want a bag, I want a can of this in my, my interior bag because there's areas like dressing vents. Um, I'm going to make a video on where I use this stuff. It might kind of give you guys some tips and tricks. But I like this stuff, this Trim Shine. And I just bought this, I bought like 15 cans of this stuff. O'Reilly's had it on sale here locally. Today's what, the 10th of April, 11th of April. It was like $3.99 a can. I bought like 10 or 15 cans of it. So, little heads up there if you happen to be watching this video in the next couple days. Maybe your O'Reilly still has it on sale. That's pretty cheap, $3.99 a can. So, I've got that in my carry case as well. Um, but again, it's an easy case to carry. I also have a couple different brushes that I keep with me. This is a great brush for carpets, floor mats. It's not all that aggressive. You could even use it on leather if you want. I think it's made by OXO, OXO. I keep this in my bag. Here's this brush by Mothers. You can find this just about anywhere. I, I don't know, does Walmart carry this? I, they might, I don't know. But this is Mothers. This is incredibly aggressive. The bristles on this thing is like, woo, they're pretty sharp. But I'll use it on carpet. I'll use it on maybe rubber floor mats that have been neglected for far too long and I really, really got to get aggressive. That's pretty much the only time I'm going to use this brush. So I like to have it with me in my interior bag. And I've got a couple of microfiber applicators, some sponges, and then over here I've got my color lock brush if I'm working on, you want to call it sensitive leather, high-end leather, something out of a Bentley or something like that. I'll use this color lock brush for, uh, for leather cleaning. Really great brush. It's not all that expensive. I think it's like less than 10 bucks, but it works great on leather with not having to kind of break down that plastic coating that's on modern day leather. Works really great. So there's my quick little video. It's not quick, sorry guys, but somebody wanted to know what are the carrying cases I buy? How do I do it? Again, I have an exterior bag. I have an interior bag. It works great for me. They don't fall over inside my truck. Hopefully that helps you out. Again, these bags I bought at Lowe's. They're AWP. I don't know what that stands for, but they were like 16 bucks. Sometimes you can find them on sale for $14. I love them. They don't fall over on you. I can set them on the driveway. They stay put. And that's kind of my setup when I go to a mobile detailing um, appointment. So hopefully that helps you out. Can't remember your name that wanted to know that. But again, thank you so much for your support. Until next time, guys, be safe, love one another, be kind to one another. And we'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys.